Hello everyone and welcome to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Nintendo Wii. I was under the impression for the longest time that this was a 2D platformer, but it's actually a minigame collection. How about that? Let's give it a go. Plays Rudolph. Welcome to Christmas Town, also known as the North Pole. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sam the Snowman. Nice to meet you. What? Haven't you heard of a talking snowman before? Well now, you got here just in time. Santa needs your help decorating his tree and filling his bag of toys for Christmas. Where is Santa, you ask? Why, he's just up the road a bit. First castle on the left, well, the only castle on the left. Hurry along now, Santa and the elves are waiting. Help get ready for Christmas. You need to decorate and put presents under the tree and also put toys in Santa's bag. Bounce the items to the crook's side by jumping under them as they fall. Tilt the Wii Remote left and right to move and the Wii Remote upward or press the two button to jump. All right, so this first minigame is the one I see people having the most trouble with, and to be fair, I guess it could be communicated a little better exactly what you're supposed to be doing, but mostly it requires an understanding of simple physics. The elf will call out where the object is supposed to go, and you're supposed to bounce it where it's supposed to go. It helps if you jump when you try to bounce the object, because if you don't jump while trying to bounce the object, then it won't get nearly enough momentum. That's very important to remember. You want to jump. You want to jump a lot. Without jumping, you're just going to get a really low score, all the presents are going to fall on the floor, and you're going to feel bad about yourself. And it's going to be sad for everyone. So please, remember to use the jump button. Or flick the Wii Remote, if, if you prefer that method. I've never been able to get the tree fully decorated or all the presents under the tree. It seems like it should be possible with the time limit you're given. I've just never been able to do it. But I'm confident that I'm playing this minigame pretty good, considering the other footage I've watched where people seem to get hung up on this minigame. And yeah, I can understand. It might be confusing, but I think they're maybe just overthinking it a little bit. You just really want to smash the, the object in the direction you want it to go. Just body it, basically, is what I'm saying. There are only four mini-games in this collection. This one is the most substantial of them, even if it's the least cute, I think. And maybe makes the least sense? Maybe. I'm not sure why why we gotta bounce the ornaments over to the tree. I just feel like maybe there's a minor flaw in the logistics of this operation. And I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to bring that up. I don't know how Santa's workshop runs. Maybe it's best to keep that criticism to myself for my safety and the safety of everyone else. Not entirely sure. I'm not sure who it's safe to ask about such a thing either. Like, who how, who do I ask what the rules are? Maybe Hermie would help. You did a fine job up at the castle! There are many toys waiting to be finished before the big night, and time is running short. Could you go over to Santa's toy shop and help paint the toys? Help paint the toys! Paint the toys when they glow by moving the Wii Remote up and down like a paintbrush. The reason we're playing with Rudolph for all of these is because Rudolph has the cutest animations, at least from what I've seen. And, uh, animals with hooves are the best animals. I am willing to die on this hill. I am uncomfortable with the fact that Rudolph is putting paint in his mouth. That's a little... that's a little hard to look at for me, but... You know, I can just pretend this is the blob or something, I guess. Where paint, where paint has a more spiritual connotation. So, how this minigame works is the toys will light up red, and then you throw the paint at them. You can just waggle the Wii Remote the entire time. You don't actually have to wait for the toys to turn red. You can just waggle the Wii Remote and he'll throw the paint everywhere and, ev and it will eventually hit one of the toys. And you don't actually lose any points by doing that. Like, misses don't count against you. So you can just mindlessly waggle your way through the entire thing. It's not great. Uh, it's 
kind of mindless. Mostly, it's entertaining because I like I like watching Rudolph's little idle animation. I also like that even though you're distinctly picking up blue, red, and yellow paint, you just sort of will it to become whatever color is best whenever it hits the toy. There's a sort of magic or psychic energy at play here that, again, I'm a little bit afraid to ask about because I'm not sure about the policies in Santa's castle or how he got the castle, actually. I don't think that's ever come up, or whether he does his taxes exactly, but... He's Santa. Are you really going to try and bust Santa on tax fraud? Nice the toys are ready for children all over the world. What's next, you ask? Why, cookies, of course. I see the elves have started to bake. You should get going. Help make Christmas cookies for Santa. Move the Wii remote like the pictures to make lots of delicious cookies for Santa. The picture will help show you what to do as well. So this cookie making minigame is actually my favorite of the four, but it's also the least, uh, the least... I mean, there's no game design here. They say that you have to do the waggles as the game instructs, but you don't. Really. Uh, the entire time this minigame was going on, I wasn't even looking at the screen. I was just shaking the Wii Remote up and down for all four of the separate waggles. The rolling pin waggle. The stamping waggle. The sliding the tray into the oven waggle, the sprinkle waggle, all of them, I was just shaking the Wii mode up and down. You don't actually have to perform different motions. You don't. So, this is probably the least valuable of the mini games, design wise. But it's my favorite because it, uh, look at the way Rudolph stamps the cookies. He like rears his head back, like he's going in for a full headbutt. Also, the voice acting is cute. Really, the whole thing is cute. I know this doesn't look like a great game, and it's not, but it's hard to be too negative about it because, like, it was $20. The UI looks nice. The graphics are pretty, pretty decent, honestly, for a budget title. There's a film grain effect over everything that looks kind of, looks kind of cheesy, in the, in the, in the nice way. In the nice way, things look cheesy. And, uh, it, it did get bundled with two plushes, so, you know. That's some bang for your buck. The big moment has arrived. Santa and his elves need your help to deliver the toys to all the children of the world. Oh, the weather is stormy and snowy, but don't fret. Rudolph will be leading the way. It's time to save Christmas. Help deliver the toys for Christmas. Use the Wii Remote to drop the toys into the chimneys below. You will still get a point if you drop the toy onto the house. So Sam the Snowman, he does sound like Yogi Bear in this video game, right? That's not just me. He sounds like Yogi Bear in this video game. Anyway, this is the final minigame. This one actually does require a degree... Well, yeah, a degree is the right word. A degree of skill. Because you have to kind of aim. Not aim in the sense that you have a reticle or anything, but the elf throws the present slightly ahead of the sleigh and the slate is moving forward, so you have to time yourself properly. You know, it's actually a, a pleasantly, uh... It, it's okay, is what I'm trying to say. I'm using a lot of words, but I'm mostly trying to say this minigame is okay. And if all four minigames were this okay, then I think the game would probably be okay. I would, I would be able to say this is a passable video game, but at least two of the minigames just require mindless waggling. And two of the minigames require thoughtful effort, so it's a little hard to say. It's a little hard to say which side of the fence this falls on, okay or not okay. 
I think it becomes more okay when, again, you remember it got bundled with two plushes. Rudolph and a friend. Friend Mayberry. I can't really think of anyone to recommend this game to, but it's hard for me to be too down on a game that technically functions, was only $20, and also got bundled with two toys. So, like, I guess that's that's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I don't know why they couldn't get a better sound alike for Sam the Snowman. Ah, all the toys have been delivered on time. Thanks to you and all your fine work, Christmas has been saved. Santa and the elves are already planning for next year. As for Rudolph and the others, let's just say they will go down in history. <laughs> <laughs>